Hey everybody, Ms. Dietrich here, helping you understand equivalent expressions as it pertains to division. Let's take a look at the box at the top. We can use words to express division. We can use this division symbol. We can use the division box. And we can use a fraction bar. Now you have to be able to take something like h divided by 16 and put it in all four forms. So let's make sure we understand where things go. Now if we're talking about the quotient of the dividend and the divisor, Remember the dividend, if you're putting it in this format, goes before the division symbol and the divisor goes after the division symbol. So in other words, the dividend is the thing you're starting out with and then you're breaking it up into equal groups. And then the quotient, of course, would be how many groups you end up with. So in this case, if you're going to set it up like this, the dividend goes on the inside of the box, the divisor goes on the outside, and if you're using the fraction form, the dividend goes on the top as the numerator and the divisor goes on the bottom as the denominator. So let's take that information and apply it to algebraic expressions. So in this case, they give us h divided by 16, and they want us to complete the other boxes. So remember, whatever is in front of the division symbol is the dividend. So the dividend, recall, goes on the inside of the division box, and whatever's after the symbol is the divisor, and that goes on the outside of the division box. So these two things are equivalent. Now if we have to do the same thing and figure out what the uh, fraction bar version of it would be, the dividend, which in this case is h, goes on the top and what you have after the symbol is going to go on the bottom. Now if we have to put this in word form, we might say something like h divided by 16 or we might say the quotient of h and 16. There are a couple options, but I think probably the easiest one is h divided by 16. All right, now let's apply that same idea. So let's just put this here so we kind of know to a little more complex of a problem. So this time they give it to us as a fraction and they want the other versions of it. So let's start out with uh, this version of it. Remember the numerator is always the dividend. So in that case it's m. And what you have as a denominator is going to be after the division symbol. Now sometimes people like to put a set of parentheses around that to clarify that you would have to do this first to, to get your divisor. So that's one way to express it. Now another way we could express it is m divided by b minus 33 if we're going to use the uh, division box. So then of course the words would be m divided by the difference of b and 33. All right, so hopefully you're comfortable with uh, all the different versions of how you might express these types of expressions using division.